I'm not actually sure that prosecution serves as a deterrent. Um, it may have other, other positive benefits. It, it may um, bring victims a sense of, of justice, and that may be also an important public policy goal, but in terms of deterring future acts of rape, I think it's very unclear if prosecution is, is the way to go. Um, maybe more promising, I think, is for policymakers to talk to, to groups of victims and to try to understand what it is that victims um, and survivors of, of rape and sexual violence actually need and actually want. Based on my fieldwork experience, I would say it's, it's very, un, it's, it was very unlikely that, uh, that victims would say that their top priority was prosecution or was justice. And in fact, in many of, uh, of the places where I did field work, uh, there was an immense kind of social pressure and even social need to, to not prosecute, to sort of move on, to forgive. Um, and so often what, what survivors and victims groups were advocating for were things that were much more basic, uh, were things like uh, psychosocial services or medical care to deal with the aftermath of their attacks, not so much um, focus on, on prosecution.